fashion shows can be rather exclusive and pricey to attend, but Durban does things differently. The city held its annual celebration of the sari recently, and it was open to everyone who loves the swish of silk. Perfect sunshine Welcome this year's Durban Beach Sari Stroll. Hi guys, we're out here at the Durban Amphitheatre to celebrate the annual Durban Sari Stroll. People are gathering behind me and the atmosphere is electric. Why don't you come take a look? Saris were available for those who didn't have one in their wardrobe. But draping the garment can be mystifying to those who haven't grown up doing it. So experts were on hand to lend a helping hand. The Sari Stroll began as the brainchild of Natalie Lunge and Kamlesh Gandhin. Hi Kamlesh, thank you so much for joining me today. How has the event grown over the years? It has grown because we have a huge melting pot of all cultures, colours that come together. They are given the opportunity of being draped in a free brand new sari, which they get to take home. One great big social cohesion program, which we boast the only event in the world where we do the Durban Beach Sari Stroll on our beautiful promenade of Durban. What are some of the aims and objectives of the event? We have different organizations involved in advising women, uh, for free who are there. Women who are rubbing shoulders with each other of different cultures and colors in a sari, but having the same issues that, that affect us daily. This is the eighth year of the sari stroll, which has steadily grown in popularity. Sari fans of all ages were in attendance, including the Miss India South Africa international finalists. What in your opinion makes the sari so beautiful? It is so graceful and gracious and melodious and flowing and happy and it's just beautiful. From the amphitheatre, the strollers made their way southwards along the beachfront at a graceful pace that allowed plenty of opportunity for selfies. With inclusivity being such an essential element of the occasion, the organisers had made sure that everyone who wanted to participate would be appropriately draped. Lots of women come here without saris. How do you manage the feat of dressing them all up? We've advertised that every woman who comes here without a sari will leave with a free one. Our saris have been generously donated by many of our sponsors and our supporters. The event offered an opportunity for the people of Itaquini to interact socially outside of a working environment. Social cohesion is so important for this city, this province, this country and this is a fabulous opportunity to promote social co cohesion and that's why I'm proud to be part of it. An undulating, multicultural ribbon united Durbanites in a cross-cultural experience. I really admire the women that are not of Indian culture who have actually put on the sari and are walking so gracefully with it. Every race, every person from every age group can wear a sari and embrace it. Seeing ladies from all walks of life get together um, on a social platform, mingle together, have some fun, dance, enjoy the music and the stroll. It was so beautiful. A sari is just beautiful. I had a lot of fun this afternoon. The sari has definitely transcended time, figure and country and I got to celebrate it right here in Durban.